Hi Lara, it's me. I was so pleased to see you. I saw your program on YouTube and I thought, mm, she needs help with her regrowth. So I'm gonna give you a breakdown session of how to apply a tint for your lovely regrowth. Here goes. Anna, Anna, it's so lovely to see you. Oh, thank goodness for that. I have had people asking me for ages about my hair and because, I mean, look at it. Look what's happened. It's frankly, it's a tragedy. So I'm so pleased that you're here for me. Um, what do I need to do? Right, the equipment you will need uh, would be a gown, a bowl, and a towel, some gloves, a brush, and a comb. Um, I'm not a hairdresser and I've been locked in for ages, so I've got some of those things. Can I improvise? Right, if you haven't got that equipment, just make do with what you've got in your kitchen. So, for the gown part, you can use a black dustbin liner. For the gloves, you can use your marigold. You've got a comb. You must have a comb. Uh, for the application of the colour, you can use a uh, basting brush. So it won't be a turkey, but it'll be hair. <laughs> Brilliant. I need a drink. So here we go, Anna. I managed to get some stuff. The instructions are in French. The comb looked like it died 10 years ago and I couldn't, didn't have a basting brush, but I did have a paintbrush, so that's great. And of course, because we're doing this together and I can see you're having a drink, I thought I would too, so there's a little bit of gin. Anna, what could possibly go wrong? Right, so you've got your colour ready, you get your comb, you've got your dustbin line around your neck, and you make a section from straight parallel from your nose going straight down to the nape. You can use your comb to hold the hair down. It should stay with the brush in this direction going down covering your roots all the way down to the nape. Now I'm ready. I have fashioned myself I actually owned a top like this, fairly similar in the 1980s, I think many of us did. A little um, funky plastic top, I've got a towel here as well, and I've mixed up my potions. So, I'm going to get cracking um, with the instructions. The first thing I need to do is to make a cross across the top of my head, like a hot cross bun, I believe. So let us see. I do have a mirror, which you can't see, but I promise you, like all good YouTube videos, I will speed this up so you don't get too bored. Right girls, the next section would be from, again, the centre of your head to behind your ears. Taking your hair forward, getting your colour and applying on the roots. And again, covering it perfectly. Repeat the other side in the same manner. Sorry, I need a drink. Gotcha.
I can see why a different brush might be better. Obviously you've done your little hot cross bun and you've painted the roots going down and the sides. Then you have to obviously apply sections going down in slices and apply. Another slice and apply. Another slice. And apply. Repeat that all the way down to the ear. And then you just pull that to the side. Got rid of that one. And you repeat on the other side using the same technique. Slicing, slicing, slicing to the ear. We'll fill the rest in. Sorry. And now we'll fill the rest in. Make some tea or something. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Die in your eye, that's pretty bad. So. No, 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 you've missed a bit, you've missed a bit. Section, smaller, smaller. By this time, you've done the front sections and you do the same where it's been sectioned to the nape and repeat in the same manner by slicing and taking it down, Lara. Slice, paint, slice, paint. So you evenly got it all the way down till you've reached the nape. Well, I think it's going okay so far. Now we just have to wait. I think I look extraordinary. I'm thinking I might do a little bit of 1980s dancing. Right. So you've had the colour on for the amount of times instructed on the box. And you've washed your hair perfectly, dried it to the perfect, straight, curly, whatever. In this case, just rough dry it because you need to cut your fringe. Right, after all that, you can now concentrate by cutting your fringe. In your case, Lara, your hair is quite curly, you remember. So we'd have to have it straight by drying it straight, straighten it. I've taken the section, okay, as you can see, make sure it's sort of like that section. Clip it behind the ears, get your comb, bring it down. Now, the straggly bits have to be cut off, as you can see. Can you see? I suggest taking it a bit by a bit at a time so that you don't make an error of it. Okay, I'll give it a try. It's not what she told me to do. Right. It's a little bit lopsided. Um, 
and there's a little bit of this film that frankly just didn't work. So you, you lost a lot of it where it was very lost, lopsided. Um, and if you look, it's, it's a pretty dodgy job. But I've kept it long so it doesn't really make too much difference. And the great news is, the hairdressers here open again on Friday. Hooray! So I've got an appointment next Friday to go and have my hair cut. But this does prove that you can do a heck of a lot at home if you've got one very important thing. Now it isn't giant kitchen scissors and it isn't a paintbrush and it isn't even a glass of gin, although it looks like that really helped you, Anna, even if it helped me a bit less. But the thing is about having an Anna on hand. Anna was my hairdresser for many years when I lived in the UK and she is absolutely amazing. She is a top-notch hairdresser and although she was joking quite a lot on there, she's the person you really need to go and see if you want anything great done. She's a colour expert and she's amazing. Um, and also apparently a really, really good laugh. So she's, she's really, really brilliant. Don't try any of this at home. If you have the uh, another option, like going to see somebody like Anna. Thank you, Anna, so much. That was absolutely hilarious. And look, no crappy roots. Isn't it brilliant? Anyway, that's how to dye your hair and cut your own fringe at home. And next week we'll be back to something probably even sillier. Speak to you soon. Right, if you haven't got the... <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> this is so hard. This is hard. Gloves. Probably shouldn't be wearing these.